brother Anthony. Hey, I'm looking nice today because I'm going to a, a graduation. Mm -hmm. Notice I said a graduation, not my graduation. This is a ceremony here at the University of Fort Hare. And uh, I'm going to tell you the real reason I'm going. I'm not really into graduations that much, but I'll tell you I'm going. They say we here at the University of Fort Hare in Alice, Eastern Cape of, Southern Af of South Africa, well, I should say Southern Africa, we have the best choir in all of Southern Africa. Now, of course, you know, you know, there's a choir in Ghana that might, you know, dispute that, whatever have you. And well, if we're talking about, in fact, you know, when I was in Senegal, right outside of Dakar, there's a monastery, and those those uh, priests, they whew. so choirs are choirs, and it'll be interesting. But but that's not what I'm going to talk about today. I was reading recently that there's a there's a sister, uh, American sister, uh, named Asada Shakur. And uh, in fact, I met Asada Shakur one time when I was in Cuba. Oh, I just met her to shake her hand, what I have, because she knew somebody was in a party I was with, you know. And I just said hi, blah blah blah. I didn't ask her no questions, but because she's not because, but she's a let's call it this way. She's a she's a true uh, black revolutionary. Uh, and she escaped the the, the, the police and the highway patrol or whatever the highway whatever it is at the New, in New Jersey, and in that altercation, uh, a cop got shot. Uh, anyway, she's she was on the most wanted list, whatever. In fact, when she escaped, she was almost like the the uh, underground railroad going south, because a lot of people actually helped her along the way to get out of the country and get to Cuba. And since she was in Cuba, they gave her a sanctuary forever. And now they're having some sort of negotiations with Cuba and America. And the Cuban said, "Hey, she is not on the table. These negotiations have nothing to do with her. That's." Pfft. In fact, they said, you know, if you want to do something, you better deal with your New Jersey people or your criminals you got there. No, 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 no. she's a, you know, because they're a revolutionary country. But, you know, it, it, it's interesting because all these, uh, you know, America's normalizing relationships with Cuba. Uh, but the, um, I, when I heard about this years ago, I had a, a fearful, I was fearful. I shouldn't say it that way, but that's why I have to use some word. Because a lot of those people who, who ran away from Cuba from the revolution, and ended up in, in Southern Florida, Southern Florida, and I've been to <laughs> Little Havana, you know, Southern Florida, whatever. And they're reactionary. Remember, those people that with, with Batista, the former thing, that got overthrown. So their mentality is such that, you know, they're going to step on people. And so they had the means to get out before everything happened. And they set up their little colony, and they've been influencing things ever since. Now what's going to happen is when they, when, they, you know, when they get normalized relationships, remember these people have money, they have, you know, expertise, whatever have you. So they'll start pumping their stuff into Cuba on the, in, in, in their image, let's put it that way. Not in revolutionary or, or, or image that Cuba is, but in the capital's image. Now, if you don't believe me, let me say what's happening right now. Say Vietnam. Remember 40 years ago, you know, Vietnam and whatever it is. Well, what happened? Well, those people that ran away from Vietnam didn't want to deal with whatever. They came to the States. And now a generation has gone. And now Vietnam, if you go to Vietnam right now, or at least the, the, the capital cities or the, the major cities, they're like America. They got all the businesses and everything like that, and they're going whole hog capitalism. So when, North, when America normalizes what they said, and you have, you have your, your people that left the country, and they get a stronghold in America and get their resources, and they reinvest back in their thing, but those people that are reinvesting are the reactionary people. The, I don't want to say counter revolution, whatever you say, the people that weren't with <laughs> beating up on America. Now they're going to come back and do America's bidding. <laughs> Shit. So, anyway, that's it. I don't want to go any further because it's, 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 it's but anyway, you, you understand what I'm saying. This has been a dispatch from the arts director of America. That would be me, T, from the Patterson State. Let me know what I only suspect.